In this video, I will provide an example of uh, how to do instrumental variables. Before you watch this video, please make sure that you have watched my other video called Instrumental Variables. So I have here data from the Medical Expenditure Panel Survey, and we have data on medical expenses and whether or not people have health insurance. And we would like to estimate a model of medical expenses on medical insurance, uh, medical expenses on whether or not people have health insurance and other aggressors. So here in this case, medical expenses would be Y1, that would be our dependent variable. Y2 would be our endogenous regressors of having insurance. And then we would have exogenous regressors of number of illnesses, age, and income denoted as X1. And the instruments would be the Social Security Income Ratio as one. And then we would have both of these, the Social Security Income Ratio and whether or not the first firm has multiple locations. And this would be X to the instruments. So these are the equations that we would be estimating. In case we're only interested in the medical expenses, we would have one or single equation. And we could estimate this with the all or less regression of having medical expenses on health insurance. And then these are the exogenous variables. So this would be the case of an all or less regression estimate. If we want to do two stage least squares, instead of using just the, the endogenous variable here, we could estimate the endogenous variable by regressing it on um, the exogenous variables and the instruments get the predicted values put it in the second step here and then estimate the equation so that would be the difference between OLS and two stage least squares and if we have systems of equation notice that these variables would be in both equations so again watch the notation for the notation watch my previous video uh, and these would be the the models that would be estimating. So for the two-stage least square estimation, the just identified case where we have one endogenous variable and one instrument. So in the first case, we could estimate an OLS regression for Y1 with log of medical expenses. And then we would have the have health insurance as our endogenous variable here. And we have a bunch of uh, exogenous variables and that instrument doesn't belong in the all less regression. So here are the estimates. The way we would interpret this coefficient is very straightforward. Uh, for one unit increase in the endogenous variable, we would have that many units increased in the um, dependent variable. Specifically, for individuals with health insurance, the medical expenses would be 7.5% higher than those individuals without health insurance. And I'm saying percent higher because this variable is measured as logs. So that's the interpretation. Now, if we want to do instrumental variables with two stage least squares, the first stage would be to regress this endogenous variable, whether or not they have health insurance here, on the exogenous ones and that instrument that we talked about and then get the predicted values from here and then use this predicted values as the independent variables in the second stage least squares. So this one looks like this one, but instead of using the raw variable, you would have the predictions uh, for this en endogenous variable. And notice what happened to this coefficient. This is very different than this coefficient. It changed in signs and it's significant too. How would you interpret this one? is that after instrumentation, for individuals that have health insurance, their medical expenses would be 85.2% lower than those individuals without health insurance. So we have quite a different result here. And that's a good justification for using uh, instrumental variables instead of OLS. Now, on this slide, I have the over-identified case where we have one endogenous variable and two instruments. So that may be the case that you may have more than one instrument. And notice that instead of just this instrument, I also have this line here for the multiple firm location. And in this case, everything is the same here. 
only that you include more in the first step uh, model and then uh, you get the predicted values put it in the second step and then estimate it again so the only thing to talk about here is look at how this coefficient again is different from this one but um, it changed from minus uh, 0.852 to minus 0.970 here so we have a, a little bit of difference so it's good when you have more uh, more instruments and you can use them uh, and see how your estimates change the next thing to do is uh, perform several tests and again you can do that you can see how I did that once I talk about the different software uh, in different videos so the first one is the Durbin Wilhausman test that compares the oil less than two stage least squares model coefficients and the null hypothesis would be that the regressors are exogenous uh, so basically if there is no difference in these coefficients between the OLS estimate and the uh, two-stage least square estimate then we would have um, exogeneity and if there is difference we would have endogeneity so because we are rejecting that we would have that health insurance is an endogenous regressor and we need to use the instrumental variables approach the next thing to do is test for over identifying restriction if that holds if the instruments are valid and we have that the test using GMM estimation and then the putting it together in the chi-square statistic we would see that from the output that all the instruments are valid we've also checked for correlation among instruments so which is relatively low it's from 0.1 to 0.25 in absolute value and the correlation is relatively low but that's not necessarily an indication of weak instruments what we need to do is um, do the first step first stage estimation and then look at the F statistic for joint significant of all the instruments and this number for us is 69 from the model with one instrument and 59 for the, from the model with two instruments and this test statistic is larger than the rule of thumb of 10 therefore we would say that the, our instruments that we have are not weak so what I had so far here for, was for one for single equation uh, estimation here we would have two equations so instead of just being interested in this one we're adding endogeneity in, in a second equation where now our endogenous variable here from the first equation is now the dependent variable and we have that one which is a dependent variable here now is an uh, independent variable here so we can estimate this using two stage least squares and three stage least squares with the two stage least squares we just estimate uh, these these endogenous variable on a exogenous ones and instruments and then we put the predicted values in the equations instead of the raw variables and then these are the coefficients with the three stage least square estimation is we are exploring a little bit more the correlation among the equations and these would be the results uh, that we get here so this is coming from one model and this is coming from the same model but estimated with three stage least squares so these are grouped together results and these are grouped together so how would we interpret that is that for individuals with health insurance the medical expenses would be 167.3% uh, lower or 159.9% lower from using the two-stage least square and the three-stage least squares uh, as models now notice that these results are different uh, but slightly between the two-stage least square and three-stage least squares and what we have done here they're different because we use different regressors and here I intentionally missed to include those two regressors into the equation here and here uh, now you may have like valid reasons but you want to have different regressors in the different equations and also you need to have different instruments in different equations so I just picked one for this equation, one for that equation. But of course, when you have your own uh, 
study, then you have to be very careful which instruments belong in which equations. Don't just put variables like that in there. And now, I tried it also if I had included exactly the same uh, variables in here. So, and then what I got is that if we have the system is just identified with one instrumental variable for each endogenous variable and the same exogenous variables, then we got the same results from the two-stage least squares and from the three-stage least squares. That's why I, I actually missed uh, these observations. So, this is how to do uh, two-stage least squares and three-stage least squares with systems of equations. Thanks for watching and now let's go ahead and pick your software of choice and see how these models are estimated.